today's the day after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, we just finished up the milking. So what we got going on today is we have a crew coming with some big manure hauling rigs and we're gonna get the rest of the manure hauled for the year. So we kind of made a rule that right around Thanksgiving, we gotta get our manure pit completely empty. So we have the pit that runs underneath the whole free saw barn and then out this little alleyway towards the milking parlor. We gotta make sure we get it empty late enough in the year so that when we get to spring, it doesn't get full too quick. We don't wanna get in full the end of March or beginning of April when it's too wet and we can't get in the fields to haul. They should be showing up here pretty soon. We're gonna get them set up. It's a beautiful morning. So I went and had some breakfast. They still didn't show up yet, but they should be here very soon. That deal of our brush is really working out. That's my favorite brush out of all of ours. So once they get here, I'm gonna have them start hauling out of this pit right here. So we got a eight foot pit under the whole barn and it's split into three sections. Once it gets down to halfway, then it splits off. It's about a million gallon pit and it lasts for about five months or so. So he's getting started hauling. They're gonna be hauling about a mile away on the roads. So that's one of the reasons why we're not doing it ourselves. They can just do it a lot quicker and better. The other reason is their pump's a lot more powerful and they can agitate it a lot better in the pit, get the dry stuff stirred up. Now we need to be a little bit careful when we're agitating with the pit under the barn, there can be gases that come up around the cows. So we wanna make sure the curtains are open so there's good ventilation in here. Just gonna open up the bottom curtain that we have here. Curtain has just a little gearbox that hook the drill up to and I'll roll it right up. It's not a crazy cold or windy day today, so it's fine to open it up. I want to make sure we get good airflow in here. So this barn is designed with an open peak. The roof kind of overlaps up there and lets some air and light through there. It actually kind of works like a chimney. The air flows from the outsides up through the center of the barn. She's flat. So we're going to let them do all the hauling. But we do have a job for our machine. So we got the big pit under the main barn, and then there's that little sliver that comes across the crossover. And we get a buildup of solid manure in there. So we always are dealing with kind of a pile in there that doesn't want to clear out. So the plan is to use our spreader to haul some liquid from that side of the barn and just put it over there at that pit so we can try to get that loosened up in there. So we were thinking we got a flat tire, we got to bring the air compressor up here, and then we remembered we actually have that one set up to lift on the road when it's empty. So I think I should be able to lift it. Yep, there we go. So this spreader is 5,500 gallons and there's a 7,300. Plus our tractors go 30 and this one goes about 20. So 
was a little healthy. This is supposed to be one of our good tires. Look at this one. So since we're going to be transferring manure from one pit to another, we don't want to have the spreader nozzle on the end. We got to take this off and switch it with our uh, just straight pipe. We got the spreader ready over there. Now we want to get this pit opened up. This is the pit that has the problem. You can see our issue in there. So we're gonna go get some liquid and just put it in here. Hopefully we can get this thing uh, stirred up good. That pump's an absolute beast compared to ours. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and back up there, see if we can't get to the right spot. get one more load, put it in there, and then we're gonna get him and try to mix it up. in this way while he's in with the pump I can try and put some more liquid down in there for him.
didn't hit anything yet. And that definitely helped me putting some liquid in there while he's trying to stir it. So we're gonna get another load and do that. So we got another load ready to go. He went and pumped it out. He got it kind of soupy and then pumped the load out. So what we're hoping is it'll kind of let loose. The pit out there is about half full. So if we get enough out of here, it'll let loose and let liquid flow back this way. Then we can get it all stirred up and break all them pumps up. He's gonna start hauling at the home place. We have one field that's down our lane. I'm gonna show him where it is. I think we're gonna get this working. We just have to be persistent with it. So the cover crops are gonna start going dormant over the winter. There's one field we didn't spread on and it's this 10 acre field that we have the mixed cover crop on. So we're putting the real liquid stuff in and then stirring it in with the solids until it's so soupy that he can hardly pump it. And he pumps it into the spreader, takes it out. We're gonna keep doing that until it's all loosened up. The is hardly spreadable, it's so thick. keep helping him as he needs us there we got a little bit of an issue with our silage shaver so this is a hoover shaver we've had it for quite a few years we like it a lot but we have a problem with the right now this shaft on the hydraulic pump broke you can see it chipped out there and it was our fault um, we're kind of switching directions to get some plastic that was wrapped around here off and it ended up breaking this morning We're gonna have to get this welded. We're gonna weld this rocket on for now until we get a new hydraulic pump. So we wanna set it up vertically so we can weld around this. I'd like to weld it upright and get a better weld, I think. That's good. You can see it's busted where the key normally holds it. Um, so I'm just gonna put a weld on here, try to make it last till we get a new pump. Now we don't want it to get too hot because it can mess the seal up on the pump here. So we're gonna get some water to cool it down after I weld it. half decent these things are built locally and this is actually an older version the newer ones they make are better instead of having one pump and then running a chain up to the top they actually have two hydraulic motors they're thin and they just sit right on the end of each side so there's actually two motors and it's got a lot more power and just less moving parts so I guess sometime if we wanted to upgrade to one of those we should but all right, I gotta go help with this manure pump. So he's pumped a few loads out now, and it's it's empty on this end. You see some is flowing this way. That means it's liquids are working their way through, but it's not let loose completely.
That may or may not break again. We'll see what happens. We've been working at this for a while. It's about 12.30 now. And we got it opened up to the point now where it's liquid the whole way back through here. It's Friday, so that means we're betting stalls again. I uh, had some people send me some of these masks, and I just wanna say I really appreciate it. I was having trouble finding them, and we're definitely putting them to good use. Go ahead and bed the first half of the barn now. I'm gonna head over to the farm that they're spreading on right now. And we'll see if we get some drone footage. Hey dad. I was over here. We noticed an issue we have here in our commodity barn. If you look up there, you can see that light right there. There's a crack, it's opening up. Not sure how long it's been doing that, but we want to go up there and fasten that down and make sure that doesn't get worse or anything. Dad'll just lift me up the back of the barn with the skid loader. Works pretty good. the crack some of these work loose I guess in the wind so this roof is made of aluminum which is nice because it doesn't rust but the problem is it kind of expands and contracts with the weather and then it works the holes loose some of the boards rot out then and then the screws don't stay in so I was kind of moving the screws to a different spot and gonna caulk the holes up I'm gonna go ahead and bed up the second half of the dairy barn. And my dad's taking the Kubota. He's gonna go down to that heifer farm. We got a bed up down there too. We're gonna put a bale or two of bedding in this barn and then we'll be done here at this farm. Just a lot of manure today. I feel like it's all we're dealing with. Manure. Go. Let's go girls. Head on down here. We're getting into the bean bedding from this year and you can see how dry it is. It just rolled out real easy. They should have the pit completely empty by the end of today and then we'll be good for the winter. That's good. 
Last thing I need to do for today is feed cows. I'm gonna throw a couple clips of that in here you can enjoy. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you later. It appears that my weld job is working so far, although now that I look closer, it's already cracking there, so I don't think it's gonna hold very long. <laughs> 